Okay. So I came back from a walk. I really need to edit these properly. I, I get that I'm annoying, but that's what having staff is for. I really need an intern and stuff. Um, these shirts even come with instructions. That's quality. To tell you how to wash, what temperature to wash it in, how to dry it, what not to use in it. That's cool. That's quality. How often do you get that with your shirt? I'm very happy. But, um, now, the goal here is I need a lot of these shirts ordered and worn in America. Over there where you guys are. Because otherwise it will, um, defeat the purpose of what these three years of working as an undercover writer or journalist, reporter, whatever, um, this three years of investigations that I did before coming to where I am now would be out the window because it would chase the killers away. It would chase the target. It's not enough to just, you know, find all the bodies outside of the ones on the picture of these shirts. These bodies have been found. They're confirmed murdered. We don't know how many others there are. We'll never know. British Columbia is big. It, there's lots of land. So there could be people that have not been reported missing. It, it, it happens. So, um, in this deal here, I realized because the reporting has been so bad, people have forgotten what it means to do their job as a journalist. People don't remember what the point of the job was for. What started newspapers? It's crazy. A good journalist, a good investigative reporter, is going to chase the story until it's solved. They're going to chase leads. They're going to report leads to cops. They're going to go chasing the cops for more leads. And they're going to keep going. And they're going to try to do what they do for the better of mankind. To make things um, even better. To solve it. You don't just report on something once, put a segment in the paper, and then forget about it and go on to the next topic. That defeats the purpose of what our jobs are supposed to be. As writers. As compassionate people. I don't mind if individual people in the country of Canada are aware of this and purchase shirts to help support it. But they can't walk in some big huge parade. This can't be a big huge How of Tears walk. It can't be on the 6 o'clock news. That'll defeat um, the purpose of this. So, I've got about $300 worth of shirts there. There's only 14 because I opened two. I've kept for myself. It would be silly if I didn't have two of my own. So there's $300 worth of shirts there. It really doesn't hurt um, people who are, you know, working and making decent money. It doesn't hurt their pocketbook much to, to say, I'll take all 14 of those shirts. Then I can turn around and get some more shirts. Or I can get one super large order for like 100000 which would be much more um, along the ballpark of what I'm shooting for. Anyways, yeah, so the goal is I need lots of people to wear these in the States, all of them. Everything, even my Superman shirts, the money, proceeds raised, not, um, doesn't just go to productions, for future productions. <clears throat> um, it also goes towards the higher tier CD and other things. All the musicians and everybody that's going to help make the CDs, even if it possibly is a double CD set, then everybody's going to have their own shirt. Right now, money doesn't, you know, it might grow on trees because it comes from paper, haha, uh -huh, but I don't have any. I have spent all I've got to do the things I've done to get the support from you. Now it's your guys' turn. I can't go any further. In fact, my van's about to come off the road. Because of the bumper stumper I had the other day, I don't have the money to change it to Manitoba insurance. I, my insurance is paid until October, but I don't have the, the difference, the balance difference to put it on the road. And I have a two-year-old. I could go grocery shopping. It's vital I have transportation. The only store I can go to walking up and down the street with her, with her um, um, stroller is the Safeway. That's expensive. So, and now I turn to you guys for support. Um, when the time is right and the right circumstances, I will then go to the news with my Superwoman material about the set for the Superwoman set and stuff like that where I was going to invite other people to come and see what would have gone down on the way would have um, shot things and what would have happened um, had there been opportunity and time for my Superwoman stuff to set itself up with um, special episodes of Smallville or a Smallville movie even 
um, before moving on to my um, movies. But with the Highway of Tears being adamant and the deadline being May 5th, but I need to have as many of these shirts sent out as possible, um, it sort of changes the focus, changes the ability to do that. So, I mean, I've contacted a lot of you guys, so you guys know who, who you are. So, um, I'm sitting here, PayPal's ready, waiting to go, credit card, bank transfer, you know, give me a dingle on here, YouTube me, email me, Facebook me, I Superwoman at Facebook.com, YouTube.com forward slash I am just 10, right, PayPal, Jennifer underscore Cooley number one at Yahoo.com, there it is. That's all. So I'll keep checking back for um, for uh, answers. I cannot wait. I look forward to meeting uh, many of you. So um, maybe some of you will come to Winnipeg. I'll look forward to that too. All right. So that's it. I'm done. Wear your shirt in support of future productions. You know, uh, a woman in the 21st century, independent and on her own two feet and kids and, you know, with dreams and... Oh, Highway of Tears CD and all that other stuff, you know. I can't go do any episodes as a special um, guest on the True Justice of Stephen Seagal if I can't get there to do that, right? So, all right, guys. That's it. If you have any questions, please leave comments um, or ask questions on the comment box. Um, you know, don't don't be afraid, don't be shy. I'm not. I'm cool. All right. This is Jennifer Cooley signing out.